Hey guys, Raider here. Hope you're all doing great and having a fantastic day. Excuse me just a moment. I need to check my notifications here. Um, hmm. Make sure I check this app. Okay, what looks different here? Everything looks different, right? That's the name of the game here. Android is all about customization. So if you're an experienced Android veteran, you already know what's going on here. We are using what's called a launcher. However, if you're brand new to Android or you're from the iOS side of things, well, a launcher is new territory for you and launchers are quite awesome. So what is a launcher? A launcher is basically a skin or basically a layer on top of your device, your phone or your tablet that you interact with, your home screen and screens, your widgets, your app drawer, your icons, your folders, everything that you interact with on your phone, your launcher is responsible for loading up for you. That's why it's called a launcher because everything you're doing, you're launching off of it. You're launching an application, you're launching a folder, you're launching a widget, you're launching something, you're launching your phone app, all those types of things. That's what launchers do, and you're able to download and install all kinds of different launchers off the Play Store that do all kinds of things for your phone. You can have NFL teams, you know, rock bands, different events going on in the world, Rick and Morty, SpongeBob SquarePants, whatever you want, it doesn't matter. You can pick anything you want, custom icon themes, you name it, launchers allow you to do it. And if you are experienced with Android, please let everyone know what your favorite launcher is. Mine's Nova, personally. That's my favorite of all time. It's been around forever since the Apex launcher, back when the Motorola Droid came out, and uh, they've been going strong for well over 10 years. If you're new to Android or have been on Android for a while and just haven't bothered doing any customization because maybe you didn't even know it's possible, you're on the iOS side of things, I'm going to walk you through the process of getting these and switching between them and how to go back to your default launcher because when all is said and done, if you get confused or you get stuck, you can always go right back to your default. And in this case on the Tab S8 Ultra, it's One UI 4.1. However, it is a little bit different in that it's deeply integrated with the OS. It's kind of baked in where these launchers, you install them on top of them. So let me go ahead and go back to One UI 4.1. That way we're all on the same page and on familiar ground. So let me move the screen recorder out of the way. I'm gonna to go to settings. I'm gonna go down to apps. And like I said, a launcher is just like any other app. And then all you do is you wanna pick one of your applications that has the word launcher in it. Cause every launcher you download pretty much has the word launcher on it. So just pick any one of them. We'll pick launcher, AIO launcher here. And you're gonna to go to where you see home screen. Click on that. This is your list of all launchers. And this will be on any launcher you pick in your app list. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pick One UI Home. Hey, there we go. Everyone knows this, right? There we go, this looks familiar. So how do you go about getting launchers? You just go to the Play Store and you download them like you would anywhere else. And once you install them, they'll be installed as an application just like anything else. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll head out to the Play Store. Let's grab a launcher. I'm just gonna pull one up that I already have, but you'll just see how this works, guys. Smart launcher. Here we have Smart Launcher. We'll go ahead and open it. Boom, so once you're done installing and it opens, this is what it's gonna look like. And every one of these launchers has a different look and feel, and the best way to get to know them, is start playing around. Just start swiping. If you don't see anything, it doesn't do anything, press and hold, things will happen, you know? Swipe up, hey, look at this, we got a fancy app drawer. Looks like we have a bunch of stuff down here. What's all this do? Figure them out. Just go through and play with it. And a lot of these you can completely customize. So let's go ahead and go back to the home screen here. So now how do I switch between this? Well, it's the same way. You're just gonna go like this, go to apps, pick anyone that's a launcher, home screen, and we'll go ahead and pick the next launcher. Uh, here's one I wanna take a look at next, Nova. This is my favorite. So Nova is so awesome because you have infinite settings. I mean, look at this home, we, on the home screen alone, look at this icon layout, boom. We can change our text size to whatever you want. Change our icon size. You have infinite control. Nova is so customizable. All of these are customizable. You can have as many of these installed on your device as you want. You can basically theme them and skin them to look however you want as well. Let me give you an example here of a couple other ones. So we'll go back here. And here's a cool thing too, is if you just leave this settings saying open, you can go right back into it in your recent apps and just switch between them like this, watch, boom. We'll go here, 
Let's try another one. Boom. Let's go up here, go back. Let's try Apex. Boom. See what I mean? So here you have this. Everyone has its own look and feel. Look at that nice smooth animation. Did you see that? Oh, that's pretty sweet. I like that. Swipe. We have it on page mode. If we go up here to the little ellipsis. We have all these different settings. Apex settings. Boom. Look at these home screen settings. Look how customizable this is. Our app drawer settings. Look at all this. It's insane. Our dock settings, which is right here, right? Your, your back, your home, your recent apps. You have everything you want. Behavior settings, all your gestures, all that type of stuff. So you have all this customization at your fingertips and you get to play with it however you want and make your device your own. Most of these launchers allow you to download custom icon packs, different themes. Some of them are paid, some of them aren't. It all depends. It's your device. Android lets you do whatever you want with it. Change your widget sizes all over you want. Change the corner radius, make them sharp. You do whatever you want because it's your device. All right, guys, this is just a quick introduction to launchers. It's a great way to customize your device. It's real simple. And just remember, if you need to get back to your default launcher, you go to your applications, you go back to your apps, and you'll pick any one of them that has launcher in the name. And pick it. And before I leave, I want to show you another one, cool one too. Look at this one. Let me zoom out. This is AIO Launcher. So if you like using stuff in portrait mode, look at this. Look how awesome this is. You have everything. All your settings toggles down at the bottom. System stats up at the top. This is what I mean. This is a power Android, guys. All right, so hop on the Play Store. Download a few of your own. Let me know which ones are your favorite. This is kind of just a quick video, guys, because I'm working heavily on the review video for the Tab S8 Ultra. All right, guys, so we're back to One UI 4.1, but I wanted to just let you guys know how much you can customize this. It's just the tip of the iceberg. There are hundreds and thousands of launchers on the Play Store. You really can do whatever you want. Uh, my top ones, Nova, like I said, Apex has been around forever. There's one other one I want to show you too. Hold on, before I forget. Niagara Launcher. This one is so clean and it's so smooth and hardly uses any system resources. And that's a great thing about a lot of these. A lot of them are very lightweight and don't use much resources. And a lot of them are very heavyweight because they do have a lot of functionality and do a lot of different things. The choice is all yours, guys. Just go to the Play Store, type the word launcher, hop on Google and find a top 10 list and start downloading them and switch between them. And remember, you're just going to pick One UI Home to get back to your default if you're on the Samsung system. All right, guys, as always, thanks for watching.